Hi everyone, welcome back to my Beach Angel Tarot Shop. I'm here to do my weekly love reading. Uh, the energies for love and relationship for the week of November 28th through December 3rd. So we are going to be turning into December in this week's time frame. And this is a general message. Uh, my Etsy shop right now is closed and probably will remain closed throughout the rest of the holiday season and into the new year. I am pretty booked. I'm book pretty full at this time and unable to take on new readings. I am going to be posting a Santa at the Sea reading. I hope. I haven't been able to. I'm, I was hoping I'd already have it up, but I've been unable to do that um, as of yet. When I get that reading up and I get a little bit more caught up, I may be offering a few slots for that reading. If you want a personal one, I'll put the information below it if I'm able to even get it up on um, YouTube. But other than that, I'm, I'm going to be closed for, you know, I won't be, I won't be taking new orders. Um, I have clients that I work with, but um, I will be keeping those throughout the holiday. But I will not be taking new orders and new clients throughout the rest of the season and into the new year. But I wanted to extend my thanks um, to everyone that has, you know, worked with me throughout the year and has liked and shared my videos and subscribed, etc. And... Um, just shared my time in my year with me. It's very much appreciated. So I'm going to start with the um, opening message, and it is this deck, and it is Colette Baron Reads. I'm not sure what the name of this deck is, but that's the one I'm being guided to. Uh, and then we're going to do the reading with the Crystal Tarot. So I'm focusing on everyone and the Law of Attraction. Opening energies for the week. And this is for love and whatever... And what, Whatever type of relationship you find yourself in, I don't like to put a specific label and it applies to everyone. If you come across it in a different week's time frame, that's fine. I'm going to be doing it, um, I'm going to be pulling a card for your energies. Number one, number two is going to be your partner's energies. Three is going to be where you meet in energy, the energies you where you connect. Number four is going to be energies where you don't connect or you're not meeting energetically. And five is going to be a, an outcome, a predicted outcome uh, you know, coming soon or whatever, whatever message comes up from it. Um, of course, it's not a guaranteed outcome, but it's a, it's a, according to the energies right now. So let's focus on the, that, which what we just went over for the five cards and see what spirit has or saying now. So we got all lined up here. And we're going to see what opening message is. And it is the eyes of beauty, positive expectations and clarity. Kind of feels like Page of Swords to me for whatever reason. All of a sudden, it's a solid Page of Swords. So, a new air coming in, seeing things differently, seeing the beauty of a situation, um, which means seeing things without the negative aspects, seeing the pop, seeing things more positive, positive expectations, clarity, being able to see those positive expect, you know, positivity, being able to see things positively versus. You know, fears, the, the things that the things that fears can kind of create, the scary things that fears can create. You know, those are not, you know, of course, not positive. Twenty five is those two is a um, relationship energy, and five is a change. So there's a change coming for the more spiritual and spirit. With number seven is going to be bringing this energy in. So expect positive things, you know, because things are going to become more clear, and you're going to see things more clearly. So the first one is the, your energies and you. So beautiful. So you are being depicted as the strength card. And so you have a lot of strength. You have a lot of power. And I do feel this card, this card to me also represents taming fears. So I feel like right now you're able to really be very helpful with any healing energies you're doing energetically within your relationship. You have a strong sense of, you know, healing fears, you know, so that could also be helping bring in more positive expectations, obviously, but you're becoming stronger with overcoming things that appear to be scary. You know, you're, you're having, you have that ability now where you kind of just can let things go, those fears go. You're not as afraid to face things in, regard, in regards to relationships, so you're becoming stronger in all these areas. Uh, so very beautiful, very beautiful there. Um, this card also brings up to me, of course, because of the lion, it, it brings up the energies of fire sign, which we are in Sagittarius. So it could be something that you're doing right now in this time frame too, that creates more strength. Your partner and how their energy is being shown, and it is the six of pentacles. So I feel your partner's energy is in regards to giving and taking. So they're looking at how, 
how they give in relationship and how they receive. They're looking at the balance and exchange right now in regards to relationship. Um, so they're really working on those energies of give and take and exchanges. And they may be thinking about making an exchange because this is about that energy of helping someone or giving something to someone. But they're looking at that balance right now and that's where their energy is. Um, and I feel overall their energy is balanced. Um, and they may be, may be working at um, balancing something within the earthly realms as well too so meaning finances or working with their career or what have you but it's their energies are in balance and they're looking at exchanges the next card is where you meet energetically and it is the queen of swords so you meet in the mind um, more energetically so you're both meeting in regards to your thoughts um and i feel that whatever your thoughts are so say especially if you're the the, the female in the relationship so if you're the divine feminine Wherever her thoughts are, that's where you're meeting. You're meeting more in her mind. And in, in something maybe that you've expressed, they're becoming more on board with that expression. Um, they're becoming more on board with the way you're thinking or a way of thought that you have in regards to the relationship and perhaps the exchanges in it. Um, so they're really starting to, if you've been in conflict in, the, in your ideas or the way you've been thinking, they're coming more on board on that because you're, you're, you're having like a meeting of the minds. This definitely also talks of being telepathic and being able to connect in, the, in that energy as well, sending messages telepathically um, too. So that is where you're meeting energetically. Where you're not meeting energetically is the sun. So it's that clarity. Right now you don't have the clarity of, um, in regards to it. And you're not meeting in the energy of yang well, because the sun represents that yang energy. There's no action. So right now, there may not be a lot of action. Uh, there may not be a lot of movement. There may not be anyone taking any actions right now or not enough action. There's not enough fire. There's not enough energy right now. So that's where you're not meeting. You're both in that energy. Maybe you're both feeling lethargic, uh, you know, sort of like needing the sun, needing some vitamin D. It could just be that your energies are in that in that you know you may be both be in that energy where you're both feeling tired sluggish dealing with other things um, but you're definitely meeting in the mind so that's a good thing you're both thinking about each other as well um, but there's not a lot of the yang energy there's not a lot of action being taken is what I'm getting from this plus I also felt it was connected to this card about the clarity and and not seeing things clearly right at this moment but hopefully soon because they're saying to have more positive expectations so you're not seeing things as clearly um, as they truly are. Okay, so that's where you're not meeting. Uh, a positive outcome, expectation, moving forward. Beautiful card of the lovers. So couldn't get any better for a positive outcome, expectation coming soon. And that is a connection, the true connection of love. And I think the last time I did this reading, uh, where we connected was in the energies of love. So it's coming out here with the lovers and the divine connection. So very beautiful. So expect that positive expectation of the lovers. And we're going to put this in the back because I feel we've come full circle um, with that seven vibration of spirit bringing that into our expectation and seeing things more clearly as well. I hope everyone has enjoyed this weekly reading and it's made sense to you and you've got the messages that you needed. I will be back with an angel reading and hopefully a Santa at the sea reading soon. I hope I have uh, will be able to do that and offer a few for some people as well. Sending everyone angel blessings and oceans of love.